Hello, this is Liz with Crafty Devotion. I had not initially intended to um, share this project on YouTube, but I did take a few snippets that I was going to share on my Facebook, but I changed my mind. So here you go, several snippets. Um, I'm making a tassel wall hanging for a tea party for a customer and I'm really liking it's still hard it's hard for me to show you that it's actually got some glitter going on in there but it looks really pretty it's not done I'm still going to be working now on above above here on the top I'm going to be placing some flowers and some beautiful um, beautiful flowers really and some jewelry some bling um, Coming up next, you'll see a series of photos that I took while I was in transition of making this. Um, here you'll see that I made these large, these most of those large chiffon flowers are close to six inches. Um, and they're made with chiffon and some satin in the middle. And the one on the left, the red one, is a satin handmade that I actually um, singed so that it would give it that look. And here you see, these are pre-made flowers that I formed in a grouping. Here you'll see I'm nearing completion and I began adding some jewelry and um, a little bit more colors. I have been designing this gorgeous um, tassel wall decor for a customer. And what I wanted is my customer really, really loves big things and she loves color so um and she loves to craft so i made it much like you might make a snippet roll so that everything can be removed and she can actually use it in any way she she wishes so every one of these flowers here are just hung with this one actually ha i happen to make a clip for it so that she can just remove it if she wants to even these here these vintage looking beautiful they're actually earrings and I actually left it intact so that she can actually remove that and over here these are brooches and I even interspersedly placed a few butterfly brooches see if I can find one I placed them around that way she'll have something here's one that way she'll have something she can give to her um her grandchildren later when she feels like giving them a little gift I think I need to put a couple of more on there so um, this is what you'll have all re all removable you can use it in different ways there's beautiful laces here and some beautiful fabric and um, I handmade these flowers right here and these right here and um, added brooches here and she can even remove um, these beads that I placed in here and um, these are also removable. There's actually three flowers that I kind of grouped together. And those I did not hand make. I actually have those in my inventory. But I hope you like it. Let me try and get a back photo. Okay, I don't have a, the best place to hang this. But um, my customer will need to have at least four hooks, I think. Or she can separate this into more than one. It is about two yards long and about one yard I'm sorry, it's about two yards wide, probably a little more than two yards wide. And then length is about a yard or so, maybe more. And um, excuse my crafting mess in the back, but this was the best place I could hang it, even though it's kind of tilting upward. You can get a good look at it. I hope you like this. And I hope my customer does too. Happy crafting. Here is a close-up photo of those gorgeous chiffon flowers I made I chose to place a cameo in the center of one of them and those cameos you see are actually brooches so she'll be able to remove those now the ones on the red ones they're actually glued in but other than that most everything you can remove you can see there at the end I did add some a little bit more pink or rosy pink in there I hope you are inspired by my new design and thank you Glenda for allowing me to create and design for you. Happy crafting everyone. I will talk to you next time.